Time to go over a series about little girls developing friendships in a battlefield-like setting with discreet fan service and edgy scenes. OMG! Sounds like the show for me! The name of the anime is Strike Witches. The show takes place in an alternate post-World War II era where the world is fighting off an invading alien race that's destroying Earth for its natural resources. Now, in order to fight these invaders, humanity has developed a tactic which involves using witches and their magical powers, along with mechanical leggings based off of World War II era fighter planes, known as striker units. Now, this anime follows Yoshika Miyafuji's friendships and troubles as she's recruited into the 501 First Fighter Wing. It is up to her and the girls in her squad to defend their region against the invading alien race. Alright, despite my opening sarcasm, the series was pretty solid for a lolly based battle edgy. If you happen to be like me and not really into those genres and themes, the series may still hold your interest because of its progressive plot and really well animated action scenes that get pretty intense. Now, the characters in the series are, you know, just standard, but they are likable, so. They're not like a pain to watch, you can actually watch the characters, but don't get your hopes up. They do, though, show character development because all these characters interact with one another and they do surprisingly develop throughout the show, which is always, you know, a breath of fresh air, specifically for a lolly-based battle -in. So if you're not into this type of anime, you may want to give it a shot if you have nothing else to watch. But if you happen to be into World War II era planes, intense battles, and love that etchy fan service thrown in, then this series is definitely for you. Also, if you're into lolly themed anime, the series may just have your next waifu. Now, Strike Witches is comprised of two seasons, a few OVAs, and a movie. The series was created by AIC Studios and licensed under Funimation. The genres to this series are action, etchy, military, magic, and sci-fi. Also, if you happen to already be a fan of Strike Witches, then you're definitely going to want to give its spin-off airing the fall 2016 season a shot by the name of Brave Witches. Okay everyone, before I wrap it, what's your favorite battle edgy? Let us know below. Also, if you want any further information in regards to Strike Witches, then just check the description below. And remember, watch Otaku Time. You know you want to. Also, don't forget to subscribe. But most importantly, Thank you very much everyone for staying tuned. Just so I can f***ing rant about this series, my only beef with this show, well, it's a little slow paced for me in all honesty, but my real only beef with this show is the girls are not wearing goggles. Like how do you fly at like mock whatever the f without goggles on? It just doesn't make sense. I understand they're witches, but witches even need goggles. In fact, I never got that. Like, witches flying on broomsticks without goggles. Like, that was like the one thing that Harry Potter actually got right. You need goggles if you're gonna fly in there. Just straight up. That was my one thing that bugged me the most about Strike Witches is the girls aren't wearing goggles. Time to go over a series about little girls developing friendships in a battle-like setting with discreet fan service and edgy scenes. Almost bit my tongue. <sighs> oh, I did bite my tongue. Ow. Ouchies. I can't believe I bit my tongue. That's enthusiasm for you.